Welcome to another edition of Tom Sox Conversations. I'm Brendan Casera, and today I'm joined by former Tom Sox player and Winthrop player, Zach Cook. Zach, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, man. How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, I want to take a look back at your time with the Tom Sox because you were with the Tom Sox in their inaugural season back in 2015. What was it like joining uh, a newer team, I guess, uh, in the Valley League? Man, it was awesome. Um, Looking at it, I didn't really have any expectations. I didn't know what to expect. It was my uh, my first summer ball experience. Um, I heard great things about the Charlottesville area. Um, I was just more excited to get in than anything. Um, but yeah, it ended up being fantastic. Yeah. And is there any particular memory you have with, with that Tom Sox team back in 2015 that maybe stands out to you that you know you'll you won't forget from that summer? I wouldn't say necessarily a particular um, memory. I mean, our season itself wasn't that great. But what I will say, though, is the coaching staff, the environment, um, it was fantastic. I came off of an injury into that um, that summer. And I, for the very first couple of outings, I had a very, very, very rough time. And the coaching staff just kept throwing me out there, throwing me out there. They kept confidence in me. And by the end of it, I was – I had a fantastic summer, carried that over to the next uh, school year, ended up taking that and going to the Cape the next summer. So honestly, it was just not looking necessarily at our record, but it was it was just a great summer all around. And talking about the Cape League as well, you know, looking at your experience and that, how would you compare the two experiences uh, to, to those two different summers? So the one thing that was awesome with both of them was I had great host families with both of them. Um, but with the competition itself, obviously the Cape is the Cape. It was fantastic. You're playing against SEC, ACC kids every night of the week. Um, but honestly, they were just great experiences, both of them. Yeah. And uh, what, what's a difference or, or are there any things, any, is there anything that stood, uh, that stood out when you were in the Cape league that was different from the Valley league? Um, just the competition itself. Because uh, as far as pitching goes in the Valley, I would say you can probably get away with more mistakes. Um, but with the Cape, I mean, if you leave, you know, fastball kind of middle middle or whatever, they might hop on that and have better advantage of it than somewhere in the, in the Valley. But just, yeah, just the competition factor itself was kind of the big difference, I'd say. the uh, We had good crowds, honestly, in the Valley, uh, especially in Charlottesville and even in Bourne where I was at in the Cape. Uh, the crowds were kind of comparable, but really it was just the competition that was uh, a little bit different. For sure. And if you were a high school player right now and, and you were trying to get noticed by uh, colleges across the country, obviously, with not a whole lot of baseball going on this summer, what do you think you'd be doing to kind of separate yourself as a, as a player to try and get recruited during this time? I don't know, man. It's such a goofy time. Um, for me, when I was in high school, outside of uh, – just like, you know, um, team practices, I had a pitching mound in my garage, actually. And I would just go in there and I would do like uh, like towel drills, extension drills, whatever, whatever have you. I was always just kind of like an individual uh, kind of grinder myself. So for anybody out there during this time, I would just say, do what you can, make use of what you have. And um, just, you know, put the work in and hope for the best. It's kind of, it's just, it's just a terrible time to be, be involved with sports. And how do you think guys who are in college right now who had their season cut short and everything that happened this past spring, how should they approach an offseason like this, do you think? Or how do you think you would do it if, if you were in that situation? Uh, I'd say probably the same thing. But the thing is, collegiately compared to high school, you have way better facilities. So kind of not taking advantage of that is kind of like a bad excuse. You could still get after it, even though you don't have a season. Obviously, it's a little bit tougher mentally because you know you're not going to be playing against anybody. However, you still have the facilities, the equipment you need to get the good work in. Um, I just I feel for those guys, man. I have a couple guys that their seasons were ended short because of the, the coronavirus thing, and I just I, I feel for them. It's terrible. Yeah, and you joined the Marines uh, after baseball, um pretty recently and what led you to kind of to, to decide to join that after playing baseball for so long yeah so I've been in for um going on three years now um after baseball didn't work and I had shoulder surgery and I just kind of I didn't come back to where I was before pre-surgery um as tough as it was I 
Um, I graduated college, joined the military, um, Marine Corps, like you said, and trust me, I miss baseball every day. I actually have, uh, I have my gloves sitting right here with me at the computer stand. I give anything to go back, but honestly, like I enjoy where I'm at now. Um, it unfortunately ended too soon, but I'm in a good position right now. So I'm taking advantage of that while I can. And you're currently on leave from the Marines. What are you up to right now? So actually in um, two weeks, I'm headed to officer candidate school in Quantico, Virginia. Um, I will go there, 10-week course, and then come back out of it a uh, second lieutenant in the Marine Corps. Well, Zach, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate your time, and thank you for your service. Absolutely. Uh, Thanks for your support. I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, and be sure to follow the Valley League and the Tom Sox on all forms of social media, and also check out the Tom Sox on YouTube for more on Tom Sox conversations. Thanks again for joining us. Awesome. Thanks for having me. 